we have a room. It contains air at 30 degrees C and 97 kPa. The partial pressure of the water vapor is given to be 3.567 kPa in this moist air mixture. Now determine the partial pressure of the dry air. So what's PDA? What is that partial pressure of the dry air? Really easy. We love easy questions. So it's P total minus PV. So we get the partial pressure of the dry air is 93.4 kPa. That's the answer to part A. How about what is the relative humidity? The symbol for that is feed, right? Relative humidity. We recall relative humidity is mole fraction of vapor in the moist air mixture divided by the maximum mole fraction if it would be saturated at the same temperature and pressure. And then we can replace the Ys of V by um, PV and replace this by PSAT. This ratio of the actual vapor pressure to the saturation pressure. So what is our actual? It's going to be 3.567 kPa. What is our saturation pressure at 30 degrees C? 4.246 kPa. And you calculate the relative humidity to be 84%. How about the dew point temperature? The dew point temperature is when the saturation pressure at a given special temperature called the dew point temperature is equal to the current partial pressure of the vapor in the moist air mixture. Current partial pressure is equal to 3.567 kPa. So I'm looking for that temperature such that the saturation pressure is equal to that value. So I go into the steam tables and I look and I find temperature column, the PSAT column, and I start looking and I find, hey, somebody concocted this problem because there's a value good to four digits. No interpolation required. There's a saturation pressure of 3.576 in my table, and that corresponds to a temperature of, all I do is look over, 27 degrees C. And so the temperature, dew point temperature, is 27 degrees C. What happens if it would have been, you know, 3.5 without the 6.7? Do a little interpolation. It'd be very close to 27 degrees C. What is the mass of the water vapor if the mass of dry air is 10 kilograms? So they, they're giving you, let me, the mass of the dry air is in this mixture. Well, what is going to be then the amount of vapor, you know, that corresponds to that same volume or same size of extent of, of air, moist air? Well, you just use the ideal gas equation. Total volume is equal to the mass of dry air times R bar divided by the molar mass of dry air times the temperature of the moist air mixture divided by the partial pressure of the dry air. What it's saying is, is uh, if you told me I have 10 kilograms of dry air, I could find the volume that it's occupied, knowing the partial pressure of the dry air, et cetera, the temperature. And then once I know the volume occupied, I just used the ideal gas equation again to get the mass of the vapor is equal to the partial pressure of the water vapor, the volume that same volume, the molar mass of the vapor, not dry air, divided by R bar T. Okay? And so let's do this the long way. You can calculate this volume to be 9.30687 meters cubed, and then plug that in here. And then you could calculate the mass of the vapor to be 0 0.2375 kilograms. So let me put mass of the vapor is equal to 
somebody says, why did you stop and compute V as an entity? Why don't you just substitute V in there as a, as a bunch of symbols, cancel a bunch of terms? And guess what? Sure, you can do that. You would count MV is equal to, you would get molar mass of vapor divided by the molar mass of dry air times the partial pressure of the vapor divided by the partial pressure of the dry air after the mass of the dry air. Somebody says, I recognize this. What is that? Humidity ratio times the mass of the dry air. So either one, you could stop and calculate the humidity ratio and then get the answer to part D or just get the answer to part D and then say, oh, I see part E requires me to calculate the humidity ratio. Short way to calculate the humidity ratio, if you already went the long way on part D, would be, say, the mass of the vapor I just calculated. They told me the mass of the dry air was starting with 10 kilograms. Humidity ratio is mass of vapor divided by mass of dry air. Humidity ratio 0 0.02375 kilograms of vapor per kilogram of dry air. Often, omega, humidity ratio, kilogram per kilogram, they cancel it. But you need to know that it's two types of kilograms. One is vapor and one is dry air. So they'll often just put it like this with no dimensions.